What does the universe look like to someone who was born blind? Sounds like a Zen koan, doesn't it? In a way, I suppose it is. Uh, another way of asking the same question, let's say, uh, to those of us who are sighted, what does infrared or ultraviolet light look like? <laughs> These things are meant to gauge light, to detect light. There are cer certain kinds of light that they can't detect. Science tells us so. What would the world look like if we could actually see infrared and uh, ultraviolet light? What would, it, uh, what would the world look like if we could take note of these uh, forms of light? I think it would look quite different from the way we see it to be right now. And that alone is enough to give us pause when it comes to relying on information uh, fed to us by our senses. Um, that does not lead one to a brain in a vat. That's silly. I've been in the bizarre situation of having uh, people I call morbid antinatalists call me a nihilist, and that's uh, quite an achievement if you can <laughs> get yourself to be uh, uh, seen that way by somebody who's a Benatarian. But anyway, um, a brain in a vat, if you ask me, is uh, something sitting there that is being fed all kinds of information by something else um, that is deliberately being careful with what information it feeds the brain. The Matrix. Um, what I'm saying is, is that yes, we can get a lot of information from our senses, but make no mistake, the image of the world that's out there is being created by us, especially in the way that the brain prioritizes and interprets and categorizes everything. Um, this is my morning coffee cup. Does it know that it's a coffee cup? Is it phenomenally a coffee cup? Is, does coffee cupness actually exist in the universe? No, it doesn't. All of this stuff is in my head and it's projected onto that. Um, that's just a jumble of matter, matter, energy, and empty space, which again, as I say, are interchangeable. Uh, all of these things can be uh, further reduced. Um, so, I'm not saying that none of that stuff is actually there. What I'm saying is the image of it, the reality of it, is something that we impose upon it. Um, Again, what do our eyes tell us? Our eyes tell us, and our brain tells us, that there are objects all around us, but these objects have no phenomenal existence in and of themselves. They don't understand that they are what they are. They are not things in themselves, because their very thingness is something that we impose upon them. That's not the same thing as nihilism, and it certainly isn't a brain in a vat. If anything, it's the opposite of these two. It's trying to see things for what they really are. It's kicking out all the, the uh, props to our thinking and saying, I want the truth. I want to see what is actually there. Like Picasso, I don't want to paint what my eyes see. I want to paint what's really there. Um... Nihilism, if you ask me, is when you decide this is the way things are and I won't listen to any challenges to that uh, certainty. Well, a false certainty is still a falsehood. Thank you.